What do you do when the thing you've spent years learning suddenly changes what feels like overnight? Because that is exactly what AI is doing in tech. It's fast, constantly, everywhere. I mean, the framework to you, updated. The roles you understood, evolving. And the tools, they're now your competition. Or so it feels like. Now, how do you stay relevant though, what brings up the question, when AI keeps rewriting the rules? We've talked about this a little bit in the past, but I really wanted to make a video on it as to where we are today. Because there is a strategy, but it's not about learning more. Let's get that out of the way here. It's about learning differently. And I'm going to show you how. First up, we need to note AI isn't the problem itself. It's the half-life of skills. Let me explain. Every skill has a half-life. The time it takes for half of what you know to become outdated. In tech, that half-life is now just two and a half years. And in AI, it's even shorter. A skill you learned just two years ago, it might be halfway to being obsolete. And I'm not saying this to scare you at all, actually the opposite, because there are a lot of things we can do to move with tech and AI. It's really a mindset shift. You don't need to become a master of everything. You need to become a master of adaptation. So here's the rule. Don't build a fortress of knowledge, build a runway of learning velocity. Wow, I feel so deep saying that. Okay, but for real, listen to me, learn to learn faster than the model to stay relevant in AI. You don't need to necessarily outsmart the model, that's going to become impossible. You need to learn faster than it evolves, and here's how we can do that. First up, it's active experimentation. Build tiny projects, run open source models, break stuff. This builds intuition, not just knowledge. And there's a key difference here. Second, learn publicly, post your work, share your work. This could be through writing blogs, YouTube, um, any format you prefer, but what this does is you're talking through your thinking, you're sharing wins and failures. It really creates accountability and visibility, which is huge in today's world. Third, upgrade your information diet. Follow GitHub trending, read high signal newsletters. I mean, look at the latest AI papers. Your feed should be your radar system. So be careful as to what you ingest, not just noise. And this really brings me to my next point, which is build a stack that moves with you. Think of your skills like a stack, not a resume. A resume says, I know, react. A stack says, I understand components, declarative logic, state management, these things that transfer from one skill to another. So instead of just memorizing syntax, learn patterns, learn how things actually work, whether you're in a technical role or even a business side, you need to understand how it works. For example, let's talk about vectorized thinking. Uh, say you're learning with pandas. You wanna explore serverless or even event-driven architectures or understand how agentic AI uses tools, memory, and reasoning. These are portable skills. They move with you. So no matter what the next big tool is, you will take these skills with you. I hope that kind of differentiates the between having a skill that you can't bring with you and one that does. Which brings me to my next part is specialize. Without locking yourself in, just to be very clear here. In AI, it's general purpose, but the people winning with it, they go specific. I mean, it's not just about boxing yourself in to know one thing, it's about solving real problems with real domains. For example, a model might summarize a contract, but it wouldn't catch the subtle legal risks unless you do. Same with finance, healthcare, marketing, product design. It needs a human to catch those nuances. And the best thing you can do is become its translator in a way. Someone who speaks both AI, can interact with these tools so well, but then also is very fluent in what you are prompting it with. You gotta pick a vertical, go deep, and find where AI fits, and then make it work. Next up, you have to embrace the co-pilot era. We're really entering a new kind of collaboration, which I like to call the co-pilot era. GitHub Copilot, for example, helps write code. Notion AI helps outline documents. Adobe Firefly generates assets. I mean, the possibilities are limits, but here is the truth. AI can produce, oh, but you can decide. This research that was found is really interesting. So Stanford found developers using AI assistants are faster, but also more likely to introduce bugs. That's kind of a given, I mean, it makes sense. But the human role then is not just doing, it's reviewing and auditing this code, directing this code in this example. That is your new edge, working with the model, not under it. At the end of the day, this isn't a destination, it's a practice. It's how you stay relevant in tech. When AI keeps changing everything, it's not about knowing everything. It's about knowing what matters next. 
picking up skills that are transferable. You can transfer from one place to another as tech keeps on moving. You need to stay adaptable, you need to stay curious, and you need to become an expert in some areas. And this doesn't need to be tech even if you work in tech, as I've given so many examples of because the most valuable skill is the ability to change as well. All right, I know this isn't a you know, two-step checklist of a video or three-step checklist of what you can do to stay relevant in tech as it evolves because that's not realistic. That's not the way to go. It's really about changing your mind, mind, <laughs> mind shift. I need more coffee or maybe I've had too much. And focusing in on what you can control, how you can differentiate yourself from these tools, which sounds really funny to say, but that's where we're at, and use them exactly as they are, tools. But you still need to think for yourself and be an expert in an area. We can't let AI, we can't rely on AI for all of our thinking. We still need to upskill, level up, and adapt to change as well. I'm curious to hear, do you think AI and tech is moving too quickly? How are you feeling about it? Leave in the comments and hit that subscribe button for more tech, future tech, all tech content to stay ahead of the game. All right, I'm gonna go get more coffee, even if I might've had too much. Thank you, I'll see you soon.